Okay, having a look at um, some little tips for when you have to sketch a graph without a graphics calculator. Now, you may feel like, why have we got this graphics calculator if we can't use it to sketch out graphs? Um, but when we're getting you to do a sketching question without using your calculator, we're looking for your knowledge about certain things. So uh, we're looking if you know the basic shapes of your common graphs, uh, if you can find X and Y intercepts, fine. And then knowing what type of graph it is, whether you're looking for a turning point, center, vertex or asymptotes to do with that. So that is linked to knowing the basic shapes, um, I guess the basic features of those common graphs. Now, my last tip here is um, if all else fails, use a table of values. So obviously we're looking for you to use these skills up here. But if you're in an exam and you're flustered and you can't remember the basic shape, you can't remember um, what you should be doing, a table of values might help you along the way. So obviously we're going to be looking for um, those features above, um, but obviously if you get stuck, a table of values can help you along your way. And the last thing I've put here is that my tip number five is to check it with your calculator at the end. Now, even if it says tech free, uh, if you've got your calculator in that exam with you anyway, um, use that to check your graph at the end. I know that seems uh, really simple, but I have seen students produce a graph. They could have graphed it on their calculator to check, and they've actually drawn the completely wrong type of graph there and lost all their marks because they didn't just take that couple of um, minutes or seconds at the end just to plug it into their calculator and check they had the right shape. So always make use of that graphics calculator there, even if it's a tech question, just to check you have got your graph correct. Uh, so we've got an example here that I'm going to look at um, where we've got x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16. Now I need um, students to be able to look at that and recognize that that is a circle. Now how do we know it's a circle? Because we've got a bracket here with an x in and that's squared, the y something squared, and then a number on the other side. You may also see it in the other form where you have like y squared plus some like 3y plus 2x plus uh, 2x squared plus 4x equals a number and you've got to rearrange and complete the square so you will see them in that form as well but our very simple version of a circle is in this format and you can um, graph that straight from there so looking at that a you would recognize the basic shape so you would recognize it's a circle um, x and y intercepts that we can do at the end in this one I would be looking at my center for this one so where is my center at uh, and so here I know that my center is in our, my basic form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 16 uh, oh sorry r squared I'll put there that means my center is at hk and this is my radius squared so what I can say from the start is I know that my radius is equal to 4 uh, because I've got 16 there and then I can say that my center is going to be at and in this case I've got 2 3 so I know that about my graph already so I know it's a circle I know where the center is and I know where the radius is now I could go through and also find the um, x and y intercepts as well with a circle we may not necessarily be looking for that we may just be looking for that basic shape so I would do my sketch I would pop my center at 2 3 so 1 2 and one, two, three, maybe I'll go six there. So my center is here. Now I know that it has a radius of four. So I need to go down four from my center to get where the bottom of it is. So if I'm at three and I've gone down four, I'm going to get to negative one. And I'm also going to go up to six there. Uh, sorry, seven for my four because three plus seven is four. Then when I'm going across, if I'm at two and I'm going across um, another four, that's gonna take me to negative two over here. And then I'm gonna have my six here. And obviously my circle isn't gonna look very circular because I didn't keep a very good scale. Really should have had the same scale on my X as on my Y. Um, now what you can see then is we do have one, two X intercepts there. And we do have our two y intercepts. So you could also solve for those. So our x intercepts are when y equals 0. 
So back here in um, your equation, you could put in there 0 take 3 is negative 3 squared, which is going to give you 9. 16 take 9 is 5. Do the square root, solve for your x-intercepts there, and then the same for the y. Generally, we're not looking for as much detail in a circle, but if you um, notice there's a lot of marks allocated, then that's what you would be doing to also um, check that. Obviously, your circle is going to be tricky to check on your calculator. You will have to rearrange that to be able to put it in, so it's best just to know your shape of your circle. In my next example that I have, I have up over here. I've got y is equal to 1 on x plus 4, take 2. So in this one, I'm recognizing it that right from the start, I know that it's going to be a rectangular hyperbola. So it's going to look like this shape here. So it's in my basic shape of y equals 1 over x. Um, and then I know that there are features about that. So I know that this plus 4 is going to be a horizontal shift. So it's going to shift everything to the left. And then I also know that this minus two there is going is my vertical shift. Also my they they will also form the asymptotes. Um, so my vertical shift, so it's going to go down two. So sometimes when I do this one, I will get a dotted line and go, okay, four places left, one, two, three, four, and put a little dotted line where the asymptote is moving to. So instead of being on the axes, as it is in our y equals 1 on x version, we've now moved it over here to minus 4, and we've moved down, I might put that on the line there, to minus 2. Obviously, using a ruler would get me a much nicer graph. So then I can come back, and if you want to use a different colour um, to draw in your other one, we then have our moved equation there, or transformed equation. Now, obviously, now we can see we do have two intercepts there, we can go back in and then solve for those. So um, when our x is equal to zero, our y-intercept is going to be one on zero plus four, take two. So we've got one on four, take away two. So a quarter take away two is going to be negative one and three quarters. And then when we, and when we look at our graph here, we can see that that does look about that point so we can put negative one and three quarters there and then this one over here it's looking like it's about minus two but it may not be because we've just sketched it so we're going to put in y equals zero so we have zero is equal to one over x plus four take two my first step is going to be add two to both sides so I get one on x plus four is equal to two then I will do my little multiply is equal to one divide by two And then I will take uh, my 4 away. So it actually is more like um, negative 3.5 rather than the 2 where I've got it. So I really could go back then and bring my line up a little bit closer there um, to the asymptote. So I could go back and change my graph there. We're only doing a sketch, so we don't need to be too concerned if our sketch doesn't look exactly right as long as we go back in and label that intercept in there. Now, like I said, my last step would be to pop it in my calculator and have a little look. So I've got it in here and having a look there, we can see we've got that point there and we've got that point there. And you can see that one is more like negative three and a half rather than where we had it in our quick sketch there. Um, if you're an exam, you might want to even sketch in pencil and go back in afterwards and um, do a uh, revised version in pen um, or you can request extra paper if you want to go and do another version of your graph. hope that was helpful. Um, as I said in my top my fifth tip uh, my what, number four number five if all else fails um, do a table of values that's always an option as well so if you are floundering and you're really not sure what to do a table of values can be helpful as well.